the respect that you get. Um, when you are working with military dependents, active duty, there is a sense of respect that they give you because you are working with America's finest, whether it was Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, Coast Guard at Portsmouth, I was had the honor of caring for NATO um, dependents, and it didn't matter if they were foreign, it was still the respect that you got. I am not saying that civilians are disrespectable um, or disrespectful, but it's that integrity that is in that military dependent and active duty that I love taking care of because they know that we're here to give them the best care and they entrust that for us to give that to them. Being in a smaller hospital, we're able to have that one-on-one -on -one and dedicate all of our knowledge to helping them succeed in their unmedicated plan of management for pain, or if they wanted pain management, if they wanted to utilize different positions to labor in or to push and deliver a baby in. We're very knowledgeable in those areas. It's a more enjoyable to work in a smaller hospital like this to where you can give that one-on-one -on -one touch, that we're able to see the patients, listen to them, active listening, and then giving them choices, recommendations, and then using that shared decision-making to come together for a, a collaborative plan. And that's what's really nice about smaller hospitals is that you can really increase that tender touch and that personal touch to each and every patient. I recommend everybody I work with that you're going to receive top-notch care, that we're able to give you that one-to-one -one we're able to sit down with you and ask you, how would you like your labor and delivery to be? How would you like to deliver? How would you like? That's called shared decision making. We're talking to you, we're doing active listening, and we're going, how would you like it? Our nurse midwives, our nurses, our doctors are all here to help you to facilitate the kind of labor and delivery that you want. And it's a great professional team. You have a concern, I'll bring it up to the nurse midwife or to the physician, and then we will work together to come to a collaborative decision. And working with these nurses, they know a lot. We take continuing education credits, we learn spinning baby moves, we are continuing to learn more about stable. If your baby needs resuscitation after it's born, we're continually learning to better ourselves and to give you and your baby the best chance at becoming a family unit.